everybody. Jessica and I are doing another live video today and we have a lot in store. It's going to be lots of fun. There we go. Jessica's here. Thanks for joining everybody. Hi. Hi, Jessica. How are you? Very good. So nice to see you. Well, that's so nice to see you too. You have an awesome hat. Yeah, thank you. I like yours too. Hi, from the child. Thank you. I, I don't know which one I like better, the one from last week or this one. Oh, yeah. I like this one a lot. Yeah. Um, they're also in the game model, too. Oh, cool. But, yeah. Oh, I see that, yeah. That's really nice. Yeah. Your That's Christmas nice. tree is very nice as well. Oh, yeah, thank you. And uh, this is the hat that I wore last week. There it is. Oh, is it on the naughty side? Yes, it is. Is that why you're not wearing it? <laughs> well, I'm not wearing it, but I don't that sign. Yeah, nice. So, thank you to everyone for starting to join. Yeah. I'm gonna wave hi. Aww. Sorry, <laughs> Maddie says we look cute. Uh, yes. <laughs> thank you, Maddie. Yeah, thanks, Maddie. Thank you. All right. So, Jessica, do you want to share what we're doing today? I uh, yes, we are actually um wrapping presents. Woo! Just in time for the holidays. Again, Kelly. It's okay. Going, yeah, well, I love the enthusiasm, Kelly. Um, Best Buddy, I did ask Best Buddies Canada, and they said to reach out to them to schedule your own live video. Uh, just because for today, it's going to be Jessica and I. But thank you so much for joining and for watching. And uh, maybe you can do um, a live video where you show some baking skills or some makeup skills uh, of your own. Awesome. Yeah, I <laughs> oh, Abdullah um, is uh, asking if we could join, you know, if um, we could join that person in a live thing as well. That's okay. Um, just to let everybody know, just to reach out to Best Buddies Canada if you're interested in having your own live video. Um, but in the meantime, I think we should get started because there's a lot to do. Uh, wrapping presents does take some time and it's not something you want to rush. Right. Awesome. Yeah, he's asking if you could join them in a, a live stream. Oh, maybe later, but we got we got lots to do right now. <laughs> yes, we have lots to do, so let's do it. All right. So what kind of stuff do you have um, for your, your wrapping? So I basically have a lot of stuff. I have this wrapping. Oh, for um uh gift bags. So I have like this. Oh, it's cute. I, I don't use scissors. Mm -hmm. I don't use tape because it's a little hard for me to do it like that. That's okay. So I also have um these rolls that I can put into um this. Oh, the wine bag. Yummy. It's nice and easy. And then we can um, uh, give this to someone like you. Oh, <laughs> those are the ones you made, right? Yes, we made those. I, I love homemade gifts. They're the best. Yes, we make all of these things on Christmas or holiday season. Nice. It's yeah, something that my family does is, ma is uh, make tomato sauce um, by using, buying tomatoes by the bushel, usually in the end of September. So those make great gifts as well. Yes, definitely. And we give them to the parties and the family too. Nice. So, yeah. yeah. So, oh, hi, Jenny. That's awesome. Um, so, so Jessica will be showing you Pardon? Pardon? Um, yeah. I like the sauce as well. Oh, you like the sauce? 
Yeah, I love it. It's so good. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, it's, you can't beat it. Just the flavor and no preservatives at all. That's why if any time you get the chance to do a family tradition or make something at home, highly recommend it. It's not, it's a lot of fun and you get to learn some new skills. Yes, so, definitely. Don't be afraid to try new things. So uh, Jessica will be showing you uh, the gift bags and some gift boxes, yeah. um, which are nice and easy. So this is an example of a box uh, to put your presents in. I'll be showing you um, wrapping paper. So this one is a little bit more complicated because you do uh, have to use scissors. If you're uncomfortable using scissors, again, please ask for help or try one of the other methods such as a box or a bag. Um, and I love this box, too. Oh, yes, I love it. Well, hey, Mel, yeah, I like similar. <laughs> yeah, except it, you will just open it and you'll just pack um, other things, too. Right. Um, so I have, like, this. I put this in the, the box. And then I Oh nice. And then I basically pack this in the box. And then I wrap like that. Uh-huh. Oh you put it in the tissue paper and then you put that into the box. Yeah. That's nice. It's like a double surprise. Yes, and then you just put the the lid on top. Yeah, awesome. So it's a lot easier than what we're for me and what we're doing. So I do most of all time. Maybe that's and I do it that way. That's true. Uh, one thing, whenever you're packing some clothes, so this is uh, a gift that I'll be giving this year. Uh, it is a poncho, but shh, don't tell <laughs> anyone. Uh, Beautiful. Like a, like a one size fits all. It has a, a neck warmer that you can fold over. It's perfect for the winter time, keep you warm. Um, but whenever you want to pack gifts, you want to make sure to take the, t the price tag off. So you don't want to take the full tag off because then it, you know, it shows that it's new. But usually at the very end where it has the price, um, you can just bend would, it. And it, it comes bend and like, uh, take it off. Exactly. Yes. So you want to make sure to take the price tags off whenever you're wrapping a gift. Um, and if you forget, it's it's okay. Um, but it is, you just want to try to remember. All right. Yes. So then you also want to uh, fold the, the clothing as best as you can to try and, um, and make it look pretty. So I folded it, you know, just, you know, just see the buttons. You got some of the fuzzy thing at the end and just so it can fit into the box. Typically, uh, clothing, it does fit best in two boxes, whereas uh, I'll be showing you how to use wrapping paper on a box itself. <laughs> so there's two different kinds of boxes as well. Uh, right. For example, this this gift box oops, already looks pretty. It already has a de decoration, so I wouldn't yeah. wrap uh, paper over this box. I would just tape it closed so it doesn't open by itself, and it would be good to go. Uh, one example of, of organizing the box. So we have right here is like a little perfume. This is a um, bit of chocolate, some fuzzy socks, and some uh, scrunchies. So this is actually for my cousin. Uh, she's about, she's a 12 year old girl. And um, it's just one example of some gifts that you can be giving away this year. Right, that's me and uh, buy it back in brands. <laughs> All right. Hi, Andrew. I also have this um, box right here. And uh -huh. it's actually um, good for candies. Ooh, love it. <laughs> yeah, it's really good for candy inside that you're going to give to someone or um, keep. Because uh, <laughs> I love some of these candies. Mm -hmm. They're the quality street candies. Mm -hmm. My favorite would have to be the camera cup, which is gold. That's the color. Your favorite color, of course. <laughs> yes. All right. So then back to the poncho. So you can wrap it into the, the tissue paper that Jessica showed you, uh, which is a great way. But if you're not like quite sure yet, I'm just uh, 
checking to make sure it fits. So I might actually have to get a bigger box because this poncho is quite big for the box. You see how it, it overflows it? You want something that, that sits low, like the other gift. So I'm probably gonna have to get a bigger box for that one. Or you could also use a, uh, a bag like this. That's so true. Do you want to show how to? Do you want to show how to make the gift bag? Sure. So what I do is I basically grab here like a, a big flower or something, and then we put it in the bag. Normally, you only need one more, like two. So, there's one in there. Mm -hmm. I just put it in there. Love it. I like how you chose the, the red tissue paper with the green bag. Yeah, it looks, it's like matchy and <laughs> green and red for Christmas. Exactly. Best colors. <laughs> Yeah, awesome. the best part Oh, Stephanie says she helped out her parents doing the chores. Great job, Stephanie. Yes. Are you, are you yes. going to wrap the presents after this video once we teach you how? I also have this little um, bag, too, that is small, that you can put other, like, jewelry or stuff like that. And it also has a little bow on it. I love the bell. <laughs> That's yeah. so cute. All right. Now I'm going to show how to use wrapping paper to wrap this box. So this is a gift actually for my brother this year because he had a massage gun, but then he accidentally broke his. So I got him a new one. And uh, I'm going to make sure to hide and conceal what, the, what it is by using the wrapping paper. Yeah, that's actually a good idea to give that to him since his book. Okay. So, what, what did you yeah. say, Jessica? It was hard to hear you. I said that was um, a good idea to get that for your brother because his other one broke. Yeah. So I would do that too. And my mom would love that one. The, the massage gun? Yes. It works very nicely. My, I first uh, um, tried it. My chiropractor has one similar. Oh, nice. All right, so this is the tissue paper that I'm going to use. Um, just going to open it up. So I guess someone who used it before me. You, it has lines, so to make it easier to cut straight because, you know, I always kind of cut on an angle, so the lines really help. Um, right. I'm gonna, mm -hmm. this, the box is pretty big, so I'm gonna take off this, uh, leftover part because it's supposed to be much longer. So I'm just going to cut that off quickly and then I'll show you how to measure it. Okay. And I also have this, but here, get this, double sided. Whoa! So this is that side and then this is the other side. This is so cool. I like you know, on the double-sided um, Christmas paper like this. Christmas wrapping paper, yeah. Yeah. So I just, I'm opening up the wrapping paper and I think this is all that's left from it, so I'm just gonna use the rest of it. Nice. Um, so it can either go, because it's a rectangle, it can go either way. But I'm going to put it lengthwise because it's longer that way. No so this looks to be enough. Uh, if anything, it is on the short end this way. You see how you still see the box? You usually want to keep them together. But when I do it this way, I hope it meets up. There we go. So, Jessica, can you see this? Can you see this? Yeah, I can Perfect. see that. So because you want the wrapping paper to overlap so that it covers the full box. Um, so the other way you saw it was too short, I'm gonna tape it this way. 
All right. So you have your tape. I'm just going to put a small piece of tape just in the center, just to hold it in place. And then the next one is going to go right over. I want to keep these yeah, edges you know, straight. You know that it can also like, um, uh, put one over and then the other side over and just keep it like, together. And together? Yeah. So you can like fold one and then put the other one on top of it. That's true. I, I like to put both pieces just so it doesn't slide, but one, one works just as good. All right, so then I'm gonna work on the edge. Because of all this extra paper over here, I'm going to um, make sure that the edges are straight. Get this straight and kind of just push it inwards. And then somebody can cut some of the paper off and just fold it and like tape it. Exactly, yeah. But I want to make sure that the, the edges are, are straight. So as you can see, I just am creasing them. And then I'm going to fold the edges inwards as well. So take your time. Make sure everything's straight. And if it's not, it's OK. <laughs> um, I see someone saying that um, I is bad at wrapping gifts. Who is? Um, I would say 11 D W R P Torchwood is oh. bad at wrapping gifts. Oh, well, but um, if you can't do that, you can easily do um, the gift bags. Exactly. Those are a lot easier to do. Yeah, gift gift bags and gift boxes are are very simple, so I, I do recommend those. Yes. And then I actually use this for um, gift cards. Nice. <laughs> With this and top, yeah. This is easier. Mm -hmm. See, my wrapping isn't perfect either, but it definitely gets the job done. <laughs> Got it. Oh, and I'm the sound that I hear Miss Kelly. The, um, the 11 song DWRP Torchbook is Kelly. Everything so, okay? hi, Kelly. <laughs> All right. So, her name is Kelly, so. This is the end result for this side. So, nice and straight. And then this is going to be the bottom of the, box, of the present anyways. Once we're done, we're going to flip it over so you don't see the tape. Right. All right, and I'm just going to do the same thing for this side. Right. And uh, this is what I use. For sheet paper. And I got this at the dollar store. And this is my own results. Basically. <laughs> These are the small um, bags here. Um, this is, these bags are good to use as well. There we go. This is the box and this is the front side. So these are the sides and the bottom. Okay. This is an easy way to wrap a gift and it doesn't have to be perfect uh, and because it's tags. just going to be ripped up anyways. Right, yes. And many tags as well on either the bags or the boxes. Exactly. The the perfect spot, I usually put it in like the top left or the top right corner. You can also put it in the middle, um, a sticker, and, and then just so you to write the name. Also, yes. if you have lots of presents, 
I would normally write the name on right away so that I don't forget because the last thing you want is to wrap the present and then forget what's inside of it. Right. All right. So and that's party tonight at Best Buddies. Hello. All right. So this is the, this is another gift idea. I got some dark chocolate for my aunt. She absolutely loves the lint dark chocolate. It's her favorite. Um, the one thing I do want to mention to everybody, just as a safety precaution, is that if you um, have family over and if you have a pet dog, uh, chocolate is very harmful for dogs. Um, it, can, it can hurt them and, and possibly kill them. Uh, so you just want to be very careful, especially if you have gifts under a tree that you watch the dog, make sure they don't go near those gifts and accidentally open one up. Um, just because, and Jessica, you have a pet cat, right? Yes, I have a, a cat here at this house. It's actually my sister's, but her, her name is Cleo. Mm -hmm. And you were telling me earlier about uh, where you put the presents um, so that Cleo doesn't get to them. <laughs> yes, we um, uh, wait until uh, she's out of the room, and then we put, it, we put the presents under the tree as well. Mm -hmm. uh, because sometimes we will um, open the gift up. Sometimes and it's not that good to like to open presents before <laughs> Christmas Day. So you wait until Christmas Day to put the gifts out. Yes, and we put the the presents under the tree on Christmas Eve. Gotcha. Nice. Um, yes. Yeah. The so one thing when you have multiple gifts and you want to put it, you can either wrap them separately and then tape them on top. Sometimes just to save paper. I tape, I tape them together before wrapping. So if you get um, just a piece of tape and something that, that's long enough so that you can fold it over itself and then that becomes double-sided, like a little <laughs> hoop. And that I put the hoop on top of one and I just pop this one on top. Nice. So this is so that the gifts uh, don't move, especially even after you're done wrapping, and it'll keep the, the wrapping together. Right. Yeah, so then you can do the same method where you just, um, you cut a piece of, of the wrapping paper so that it folds over each other, uh, but not too much. Uh, I had a little bit too much excess on that one, so it, it made it a bit more difficult near the end. Um, so you just want to try and measure it up just so it folds over at least on one side. And uh, some other gift ideas would be, honestly, one of my favorites, just saying, <laughs> are <laughs> candles. So these are three wood candles from Bath and Body Works, um, but honestly, candles from anywhere work. Just smells so good. And sometimes Bath and Body Works, they give you um, ribbons and cellophane so that you can wrap them. Um, they didn't have any cellophane, but you would just put it into the bag and then you would just tie the top of the bag with this pretty ribbon. So that's a nice, easy way. Um, now, if you want a gift that's already wrapped, um, a lot of places have pre-wrapped packages. So I got this one from the body shop and it looks like a snow globe. <laughs> that's so pretty. Yeah, so it has some um, some uh, lip balm, lotion, and shower gel, and uh, you, this is perfect just to give to um, your friend just like this, or you can even pop this into the bag and it'll be easier to carry. Maybe you can like yeah. tape the card at the bottom uh, or pop the card in the bag as well. Right, that's so cool. And I can't have the same thing about makeup. Yeah. And Hopefully my friend's on live, but uh, this is another, it looks like a, a star and it has um, different body butters. So I love the body shop for their lotion and for their, um, their lip balm and because they have a lot of, of nice products. Um, right. Yeah. This um, wine, Ooh. which um, is in this white clear um, bag. But you could also put it in 
uh, obeyed with this too. Uh huh. So. Very nice. Yes. And then I also do have um, stockings. Is that your stocking, well. Jessica? Yes, it is. Do you have any? Nothing that looks like that. That one's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Yeah, but I would want another, uh, another stocking that is more appropriate because this is not like shitty. But it's, it's lovely though. Yeah, it is nice. It was, it's been in my last year with this one because I'm an older one and this is, I got this when I was like a kid. So. <laughs> Oh, I want, cool. yeah, I know, but I want one that's a little bit older. Hmm. Um, this is the the last present I guess on the show. Oh, you have the, oh yes, those I almost forgot about those ribbons. Yes, these ribbons that you put on the um the presents. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's gold because it's my favorite color. So, yeah. Thanks. Um, I guess as another gift option, um, this is just like a box at the dollar store. All my gift supplies can just can be found at the dollar store. Uh, so there's no need to buy anything fancy. They have some really nice stuff there already. Um, again, make sure to take the tag off before you give it away. And I found these uh, custom coasters at a Christmas market. So her name is called Victoria Lay. She has an Instagram account. And she is just a local artist. So um, one way, one thing that you can consider this Christmas season is to shop locally uh, from, you know, artists and stores uh, near you because these are some really beautiful coasters. And she says, uh, each piece is unique, hand-painted, functional alcohol ink art. Glossy resin finish makes them water and heat resistant. So they can go outside just on indirect sunlight. And I picked out my favorites, so I got some different colors, like purple, blue, uh, gold, and red. So, just a, another idea. Yeah, that's beautiful. I actually got all my wrapping stuff also from the dollar store. Nice. The yeah. wrapping supplies. Yes, wrapping supplies, and then, um, this as well. These boxes, <laughs> they're all from the dollar store. Nice. So, when... It, if you want to like, you go to the dollar store for basically anything. That's true. Oh, remember that uh, wrapping paper I saved from earlier? Okay. I'm going to to use it quickly to show um, to show a nice way of wrapping a present for someone who doesn't have that much mobility. So if you, if your friend or if you know someone who, or if you're the person who finds it, it's difficult for you to open um, wrapping paper um, during the Christmas season, this is a way to have something wrapped and make it very easy to open. Uh, now the other options are like the, the bags and the boxes are, all, are both great, but if you really wanna open some wrapping paper, uh, here's a way that you can do it um, to make them happy. So yeah, have your wrapping paper. I got, the gift, so some chocolate. Yep. And again, just measuring it out before actually wrapping it. So, make sure to fold it over. And this one folds over a bit too much, so I'm just gonna trim uh, one side. And then I'm going to show you how to use the ribbon to make it easy to open. All right, so let's go over about that. You can use the squares if you have wrapping paper squares uh, for easy reference when wrapping. Again, follow the line when cutting. This is going to be the last present um, for this live video to wrap. Yeah. All right, so. You want to take the ribbon and um, wrap it around the longest part of the gift to make it the uh, wrapping easy. So 
I'm just going to measure it. I'm going to lift up the gift. And it's going to come around to about that much. Give a little bit extra ribbon to make a handle. So I'm going to cut that off. And you want to tape one side of the ribbon to um, the top of the gift. I'm going to do it just here. All right, so again, the long wise, and then you got the tape, tape it on top. And once you get over here, you want to um, make the handle. So to tape it again, I'm probably going to tape it on this side. And I'm uh, just going to fold it over before I tape it. So just about that. All right, so then you have, you have the ribbon going along the gift, and then you have the handle. So what, what's going to happen is after you wrap the gift, you want to pull, the person is going to pull this handle, and it's going to take the wrapping paper off and make it nice and easy for them. Nice. Now, I guess be careful where you tape it because this paper might come off too. Uh, so I'm just going to tape it a little bit further down so it doesn't... <laughs> Yeah, and that's a good um, hack for wrapping presents, too. Yeah, because it makes it much easier for people with, with poor mobility um, to open up presents during the Christmas season. Right. Now, I actually, I just learned this uh, a few days ago, too. So I think it's awesome that uh, people are sharing these ideas of how to make Christmas more accessible for for our friends and family. Right, definitely. Oh, hi, Andrea. So, I know her from high school. Nice. When you are wrapping, you just want to make sure that the ribbon uh, stays exposed. So I'm doing that side for last. Same method, I'm folding the ends over into a nice triangle. Right. The, the bigger the gift, you might have to do more steps. Uh, but then I'm going to locate this the, top, the ribbon and I'm just going to that's why I made the handle quite long because it's like all the way over here so I'm going to um, poke a hole through the papers to make the ribbon come through right um, it might be a lot easier for someone who can't open something exactly and that's the goal oh, I can't Oh, I miss you. Oh. Hi. How's your baby? How's your baby? Uh, she didn't miss the beginning, but it's okay. That's okay. So we're going to save the video on the Best Buddies Canada Instagram page. Yes. Oh, Shahina is saying that um, her baby, Ruby, is doing good. Oh, that's amazing. Okay. Yes. So this is her. Oh, done. This is my first attempt at uh, wrapping the present with the handle. Um, but just like that, and then the handle, you just want to make sure it's exposed. So, Jessica, what do you think? Do you think I should open it and test it out? Yeah, that's All cool. right. Yeah, because I kind of have to take the ribbon out anyways. Um, but that's the way to wrap the present. Mm -hmm. And then here's opening it, just for some excitement. Oh, okay. Ribbon. I'm gonna work on that. The ribbon came out. <laughs> okay. Okay. Maybe you want like some stronger tape or to like tie it around the box. It's a work in progress. Um, and yeah, that's really it for the live video today. Just yeah. thank you for coming out and for watching. We hope you learned something new. Uh, and thank you so much, Jessica, for doing this with me. Yeah, you're welcome. I can't wait to see you. Bye, everyone. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Merry Happy Christmas. New Year. Happy, Happy New Year. holidays, everybody. Happy holidays. Bye.